probably two tile sections we're gonna have to do a little bit of tile nipping and we might have to use I think we probably have to use a chisel for that so we're gonna I don't know measure twice and cut once What's a chisel? Good morning, team. We uh, have been doing some stuff to our kitchen. So we had uh, a number of appliances that were dying. Our microwave was out, but the other three appliances all looked like they were kind of on their last legs as well. So at the 4th of July sale this morning, or this summer, we uh, decided to replace all four of them and see if we could get a deal from Home Depot. And we did. It's been a bit of a saga about getting the uh, the things delivered in time. It took weeks to get them initially. And then when they came to deliver our refrigerator, um, oh goodness, we still have this tiny little 10 cubic foot refrigerator because they dismantled our old refrigerator and um, took it out before they realized that they couldn't bring our new refrigerator in because of this kitchen island that I'm talking to you from right now. I later realized that the kitchen island uh, was a late addition to the kitchen and I was able to move it. So we had to reorder the same fridge. It's coming because with six kids, we need a 28 cubic foot fridge. That's just what we need. So it's coming. But in the meantime, uh, when they went to install the microwave here, they, um, they said they were gonna have to drill through our previous backsplash, which was sort of this faux copper thing. I'll, I'll try and include a picture if I can find one. This faux copper thing we didn't like it from the time that we even looked at the house and we've always intended to replace it. So when I realized they were gonna drill through it, we decided to just get to it, rip it out that day, and, um, and do something else with it. So in the process of ripping it out, we got down to the brown paper of the, the drywall underneath it. So I had to uh, repair that with some drywall mud and, uh, and then we put a, a special primer over that that we got from Home Depot. And now the surface is nice and clean. What we're gonna do is uh, install a new product called Speed Tile. Um, Speed Tiles right here that we got from Home Depot. So this is actual stone. I've seen some that are sort of like a vinyl material that I thought would get scratched. They look nice initially, but I, I didn't think they'd be too durable. But this product actually uses real stone tiles. So that's what we're gonna do. I got a start on it. Like you can this. see it over there behind Hannah's head. Like that, she's got you, yeah, right there. And um, so we got the first one up and we're gonna see how the rest of them go up. It's really easy. You just prepare the surface, get it nice and flat. Then you Peel spray off. a little, a little soapy water on the back, uh, which gives you some time to adjust it. And then you literally just stick it to the wall like a sticker. So here we go. <laughs> So that was attempt one. The, uh, the tiles did not link together in quite the way I was hoping that they would. So, um, so this one here, put it on second of course, and then I tried to snug it up against the other and the reason for having the, the soap water solution on there is so it's supposed to be able to slide along the wall but the tiles didn't quite interlock in the way they were supposed to. So that's a problem we're gonna have to try in the next one. The other challenge is that we have this outlet and then another one beyond it. So for the next probably two tile sections, we're gonna have to do a little bit of tile nipping. And we might have to use, I think we probably have to use a chisel for that. So we're gonna, I don't know, measure twice and cut once. What's a chisel?
So that one went a little bit better than the last one. This time we used a chisel to cut out the hole for the outlet in the middle. And that worked pretty well. It was a, a wood chisel. Where is it? There it is. Wood chisel that I got from Harbor Freight. My favorite tool store because a pack of four of them cost like six dollars. So even though I'm destroying this wood chisel by hammering stone with it, um, I'll get another one and it's gonna cost me less than a buck. So that's a good thing. So for the next one, I think we might be able to use the tile nippers again because the outlet should be close enough to the edge that we might be able to get away with that. So we'll see if that's possible. This time also I used the chisel to try and knock out a couple places where the, um, where the tiles weren't quite locking together. They locked together a little bit better this time than last time, um, but it still wasn't perfect. So that's something to be careful of when you're doing a project like this, especially with these, uh, these stone tiles that are, they have sort of an uneven surface to them. Um, some of them are, are raised up and rough while others are smooth and lower down. I think that's part of the, the problem of getting them to lock together, but just something to be aware of. There is no grout line with this kind of tile, so they have to lock perfectly together and it's not quite perfect, so be warned. We didn't get it uh, quite right. There was a little bit of metal from the outlet that I, I decided I was gonna try and tile over. And when I put the tile on, it didn't work. So we had to cut those tiles out and we'll have to fix it or repair it somehow later. I just need to, to figure out how to get switch plates that, um, that rise up enough and cover enough area that they'll cover over the, the missing tile pieces. So that's the tip for tile number three. Now we're gonna move on to tile four and we're gonna extend across behind the stove, so we shouldn't have to do any more cutting. We just have to find a way to support the tile uh, underneath underneath the, uh, the gap between the two backsplashes from one counter to the other behind the stove. So that's the challenge for the next four or five. Here we go. So at this point I am out of tile. We, uh, we almost got there, as you can see. Probably need uh, one more panel and maybe one extra panel, because if you look above here, we don't always have a full uh, tile going up. So I have to decide whether we're gonna paint that or whether we need um, some tile to fill in. Given this area here, I think we may, might need to just carefully paint that with a small paintbrush and maybe just leave that gap there. But over here, we're definitely going to need to add just a little bit more tile. So I think we basically just need one more panel and I need to get some new outlet switches. But overall, 
I think this looks pretty awesome. Definitely easier than setting tile and grouting. One thing about this though is that you do not get grout lines. So if you look, it's just tile on tile, which I think is part of why it was sometimes hard to get them together. And if you look here, there are some gaps where I couldn't quite get the tiles together. So the interlocking nature of this is not as good as it could be, but on the whole, I think I'm pretty happy with this project. So thanks for joining us in this project. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and uh, come along and join us as we continue life as a family and uh, continue improving this house. God bless you all. We'll see you soon.